Okay, I'm going to give you a very quick overview of how to get up and running quickly using Sounder. Uh, we're going to use the built-in sounds that come with Windows. So if you go to Settings, under MIDI, you'll see the Microsoft Wavetable Software Synth. So we'll just stick with that default. And what we do is create a new sound space. And this is a child window which has certain characteristics which you can set the properties of right here. So the MIDI channel, and here's the patch. So I'm going to go down to one of the better sounding ones. These sounds that it comes with are not that great. Um, here's the warm sound. Now we'll add in a, a sounder object. And the way it works is that every time we this object hits one of the walls, it generates a note. You can grab it and throw it around. The notes that it chooses are, are shown here in the object properties. So you can choose any four notes. Uh, but then what gets interesting also is you can choose the octave that it'll play and add some randomization as in go up or down an octave from octave four. Maybe change the volume will change with each, with each hit. Um, now, if we launch a second object within the same window, it will have the same sound patch, but uh, its own notes and its own range that we could choose if we want to. Okay, then if we launch a second window or sound space, this one can have its own patch. So I'll go with something else such as uh, let's try choir. Throw an object in there. And maybe change the way it looks to distinguish them. So I'll use this cube. Okay, now changing the size of the window affects the rhythm or the, the way that it'll play. Right, because of the, uh, the shape determines how and when it will strike the walls. I think I'm going to stop there. That's just a very quick overview how you can get a sounder piece going in almost no time. By the way, if you were to save this piece, it takes up all of about 40 or 50 bytes. Uh, but the music will go on playing for hours and hours without ever repeating. Okay, hope you liked it. And uh, check out the free demo at www.sounder.com. And in other videos, I will show how to get much more uh, great sounding sounds from Sounder by hooking it up to programs like Reason and Ableton Live. Bye-bye.